we're taught in the scriptures, in the word of God, the book of God. That's the truth about us. And it's only as we begin, so with me, so with all of us, it's only as we begin to be humbled and see these things and see our need. Just occasionally, I, I might have an encounter with somebody and that person will say, well, I'm a Christian. Oh, yes, oh, yes, I, I've always been to church. Yes, and uh, I uh, used to belong to this Christian society and to that Christian group. And uh, I, so I'm a Christian. And I'll say to them, well, yes, but tell me about the time when you really felt your need of the forgiveness of God and you hung, hungered and thirsted after the pardon and the converting power of God. Tell me about the time when this really came home to you that you were a lost sinful person who needed redemption and forgiveness. And they're all confused and they don't know anything about that. That's very sad. I hope there's no one like that here. You think being a Christian is just carrying out some duties? Just making a mental ascent to the existence of Christ and of God? Having an interest? Didn't you know that it's the result of a personal conversion? A tremendous change, like the change demonstrated here, this poor youth who was completely transformed by the power of Christ. It's a matter of coming to God yourself, personally. That's what you must do. Being aware of your sinfulness, your cut-off state, believing in Christ, who suffered and died on Calvary to pay the price of sin, to take the punishment of sin for those who would be forgiven. It's a matter of repenting, believing in him and having him lay his hand upon your life and change you and infuse spiritual life into you so that you know him and he blesses you and holds you and helps you through life's journey and gives you citizenship in heaven. It's a very dramatic and wonderful thing. And you read about it here in this great demonstration. 